The Honourable Member for Calgary and Northern Hills. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As the MLA for Calgary and Northern Hills, I represent a growing and newer residential community. Living on the northern edge of Calgary, one of the greatest challenges residents of my community face is efficient and more frequent and accessible public transit. To the Minister of Transportation, do you have a plan to help fund Calgary's priority transit project, the Green Line? Honourable Minister of Transportation. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I want to assure the Honourable Member of this government's commitment to public transit, including supporting both major cities on their LRT network, Mr. Speaker. The city, uh, the city of Calgary has yet to uh, refine the details of the project in terms of its scope, its timing and total costs. And I've indicated to the city of Calgary, and I've had many conversations with the mayor on this matter, that when they have a final ask in terms of this, that we are certainly going to sit down with them and consider it because, Mr. Speaker, uh, public transportation is a key priority of this government. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, given that many Albertans, including residents of Calgary and Northern Hills, are eager to see transit projects move forward, to the Minister of Transportation, will you make a firm commitment to funding public transit infrastructure in the coming year? The Honourable Minister of Transportation. Well, thank you uh, very much, Mr. Speaker, and I'm, I'm very happy to tell the Honourable Member that that has already uh, taken place. Uh, we're investing, as part of our four-year capital plan, $1.3 billion in transit funding initiatives to connect communities, to enhance uh, access to markets and services, and to make life better for Albertans, Mr. Speaker. It includes $305 million over four years for new transit initiatives to both support regional and green transit infrastructure projects in Alberta, Mr. Speaker. This government is committed to making life better for Albertans, Mr. Speaker. Uh, thank, you. thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, given that Alberta's economy has been experiencing a downturn and many Albertans are in need of work, including Calgarians, again to the Minister of Transportation, how does the plan to build public transit put Albertans to work and help support economic diversification? Honourable Minister. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, and I know. Quiet, please. I know, Mr. Speaker, that the economy is on many people's minds, and, and that's why our government is investing in infrastructure throughout the province. Uh, we create jobs in, in construction, in engineering, design, and many of these jobs are in the city of Calgary, Mr. Speaker, I just might uh, say. And it provides an affordable uh, alternatives to single-family vehicles for Alberta families, Mr. Speaker, part of our commitment to make life more affordable for Alberta families. <laughs> Thank you.